This is the Mooney M20U Ovation Ultra, an aircraft like many Moody models before it, has its roots in the M20, a four-seat airplane that was first developed in the early 1950s. The M20 series has come to be well regarded for exceptional speed and efficiency, and the Ovation has filled a gap in Moody's lineup with a normally aspirated 280 horsepower Continental IO-550-G that allows a max cruise speed of 197 knots and the Garmin G1000 NXI. The Ovation extracts sizzling performance from a tried and true engine and airframe, yet makes life easier for the pilots by embracing sophisticated and modern systems. Today, we're going inside the Mooney M20U Ovation Ultra to talk about everything you need to know about this fantastic aircraft. In the cabin, the addition of a door on the pilot side comes as a welcome change to Mooney enthusiasts. Getting in without having to squeeze through to the left seat from the right side is fantastic. Both doors are a full 4 inches wider than the original single door, making for an easy ingress and egress to the front seats. Both composite doors have new latching mechanisms with a robust rod to open and close the door with a thunk. Mooney engineered the door by shuffling around the welded 4130 tubing used for the forward fuselage cage. Aft of the rear seats, the airframe is traditional monocoque riveted seats over frames. The seats are handmade by artisans in the Carryville factory and the cabin comfort is out of this world. The luxurious leather seats offer more lumbar support, are upholstered in a style best described as luxury sport sedan plush, and have multiple adjustment capabilities to provide the optimal position in terms of height and reach for the rudders and yoke. Ergonomically, Mooney has done all it can with the M20 airframe. The seats, as noted, are much improved and the cabin ventilation is abundant. Air conditioning is available as a $28,900 option, but with two doors, I'm not sure it's needed given the gales that blow through on the ground and the Ovation's rapid climb rate to cooler, drier air. Oxygen is a $9,900 option, but again, of dubious use for an airplane happy at 8,000 feet or 2,440 meters. The same applies to the $64,990 TKS known ice package. That system costs both speed and payload, and may not be a good choice for this airplane. In the cockpit, another big change in the Ultra is the new avionics suite. The Garmin G1000 NXI is an evolutionary upgrade to the G1000 suite that has been standard in virtually all new aircraft for more than a decade. Two things about it are immediately noticeable. It's brighter, and the screens refresh much faster. It's also quicker to initialize, so no more idling on the ramp waiting for the navigator to find itself. It also sports some additional features, including a pedestal mounted keyboard for input and runway approach feature for VFR flying, sophisticated enough for the autopilot, the GFC 700, to even fly vertical profiles. The display includes some new capabilities such as thumbnail data displays inside the HSI and Highway in the Sky boxes. Glass panels require backup instrumentation and Moody does that with the Mid-Continent MD-302 SAM. The G1000 is so complete that the avionics option list is short. It's equipped standard with ADS-B in and out and the Flightstream 510 cockpit connectivity option that allows uploading data from the tablet apps to the G1000. Garmin's GTS-800 active traffic is an option, but Drumheller says that the ADS-B, TIS-B, works so well that active traffic is superfluous. Also upgraded is the electrical system and panel switchery. Previous long body Moonies had two batteries and two alternators, and so does the Ultra. The backup alternator has a 30 amp capacity and will operate an essential bus that's clearly segregated on the CB panel mounted in front of the co-pilot seat. The old style rocker switches have been supplanted by modern backlighted switches and the panel itself is illuminated with LEDs for operation after dark. Mooney also redesigned the flap and rudder trim controls. 
The flaps are handled via a flap shaped two position switch on the lower panel and the electric rudder trim via a simple knob. Positions of these surfaces are enunciated on the G1000, adding to what can be a cluttered display of information. Switches are designed to use the pilot's tactical senses to minimize confusion. The rudder switch is a knob with a vertical handle and the flap switch, which is located right of the rudder trim, is shaped just like a flap. Most electrical switches are oversized rocker switches. The Garmin G1000 NXI avionics suite can be controlled with an alphanumeric keypad located within easy reach of the right hand, so there is no need to reach up to the MFD to enter a flight plan, change frequencies, or make other modifications. Another huge step up is the fuel selector, which is now right behind the center section of the instrument panel, within easy reach from both the pilot and the co-pilot seat. The Ovation's fuel selector also has a much larger and more ergonomic handle. In addition to digital fuel gauges on the MFD, there are analog gauges on top of each wing. Talking about performance, the Ovation Ultra is powered by a 310 horsepower Continental TSIO-550-G engine with a TBO of 2,200 hours and a three-blade Hartzell Scimitar propeller. This combination is able to push the aircraft to a maximum cruise speed of 197 knots and up to a maximum cruising altitude of 20,000 feet or 6,100 meters with an average hourly fuel burn of 16 gallons or 60 liters per hour. Non-turbocharged aircraft typically reach their cruise stride at 8,000 to 10,000 feet and climbing above that without a turbocharger dings cruise speed because of diminishing engine power. Still, the Ovation Ultra is a solid 190 knot airplane at these altitudes using best power throttle settings. Dial it back to best economy and the speed is still 180 knots. The Ovation Ultra has a maximum range of 1,450 nautical miles or 2,685 kilometers with a 45 minute reserve. The plane can take off in 2,300 feet or 700 meters, has a maximum rate of climb of 1,300 feet or 396 meters per minute, and a minimum landing distance of 2,700 feet or 823 meters. The ground roll distances are 1,500 and 1,950 feet or 457 and 595 meters respectively. And finally, the maximum takeoff weight is 3,368 pounds or 1,528 kilograms, and the useful load is 980 pounds or 445 kilograms. The base purchase price for a new Mooney Ovation Ultra is $698,000 before options, and while the total fixed cost is roughly $20,000 to $24,000 per year, the average hourly operating cost is estimated at $250 to $300. Thank you for staying with us till the end. Here are two videos you can watch next. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.